right, let it be known. Chickens love waffles and strawberries. Strawberries and waffles, so yeah, who'd have thought, right? Welcome to another episode of Black Pack Homestead. I'm Chris, and Marella is now inside the house. We are uh, piddling out here in the yard, and uh, just letting y'all know that the quail are officially on, tri uh, on grass today. So uh, it's a long time coming, and we're really glad to have them out. And they seem much happier after a few days of this. They'll be back to normal and everything will be fine. So, yeah, we've been productive today. Marella's taking care of Tandy, our adopted rabbit in there. And uh, we've been out picking garlic, guys. We got a ton of garlic to show you. Right now, it's just a little bit of quail stuff. So, yeah, got these guys back on the ground. Hopefully, it'll reduce the food and the, the mess and the bedding and all that stuff that comes along with uh, deep bedding. Uh, the weather's nice enough now, I feel good about it. I can leave these guys out last night. It probably got down to upper 40s, possibly. It is cool and windy today, but it's nice. The sun is nice, and uh, shade's a little cool, but that's all right. Yeah, it's a good day, guys. Good day. Hope you're enjoying your Memorial Day weekend. Uh, let's check out these quail. Look at that guys, look at that. Some of them I broke trying to get out of there, but there's always gonna be one or two. Yeah, that's right, I use a pink basket, collect my eggs in. I'm secure that way. Yeah guys, if you uh, don't raise quail, I recommend it. It's something worth doing. Uh, they are more productive than the chicken, but they also eat more, so there's a trade off there. These guys are a little blessing. The meat is so good, the eggs are so good. Turnovers fast, super fast. Powers the multiplicity, guys. It's in the multiplicity. But yeah, I love the quail. Uh, let's go over here and check out this garlic that Morel and I had uh, harvested this morning. I actually got to get a. I'll probably use a wire cage and just bring it up to the top there. But yeah, let me show you the. Let me show you our garlic. Look at that, guys. Look. That's amazing guys. Some of this is going to be planted back into the garden. Uh, it didn't take us very long at all to dig this up. We did it relatively quick. We're going to uh, set them aside, let them cure, maybe hang them up, let them cure. You know, you can uh, braid it all together and, and let it cure that way. But um, It is a surprisingly large amount of garlic considering it was store-bought garlic and they were sprouting. We were like, well, we're, they're going to sprout. We're just going to plug them in. And it was well worth doing. They came up. We got some to plant. We'll have plenty probably in the fall if we were to plant them again. Uh, you know, just stick them back in there. But super happy with it, guys. Super happy. Guys, what I really need is a drying table. Maybe that's a future project I need to work on. Drying table. Used for a lot of good, lot of good stuff. So, yeah, let's look at it. I got it all in, the, uh, in my little wire cage carrying device here. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna hang them up and cure them out, but look at that. Guys, I am hooked up with garlic. That was well worth the time of doing. That is an insane amount of garlic. I am so happy about this. If I could only get beans to do the same, they were struggling earlier, but garden every year guys different from year to year you may have successes one year and failures on the other hand and uh you just got to keep trying it will, i can ch tell you if you have success with something in a certain area keep with it and just kind of work along with it because you know they do well in this area uh, if you tried a few times and just had no luck i'm not saying give up on it i'm just saying you know it's probably not in the cards for you if you get re a repetitive failure process there so Guys, it smells, this garlic smells like, you know, garlic. So I'm going to bring them up to the house there. I'm going to process these out. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Black Pack Homestead. Garlic, garlic mania. So God bless y'all. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye. So much garlic. Look at all the garlic. Look at that, it's the size of my hand. Eating good, y'all. Eating good.